and welcome to another weekly Roundup. On this week's episode of the Small Business Big Network podcast, you can hear Peter Lindbergh from Mobilo. He's talking about the future of networking and the rise of smart business cards that are much more environmentally friendly than the traditional card versions. I've mentioned before that voiceover artists often pass work to each other when a job comes up that they themselves are not suitable for. This week I'd like to give a shout out to Nick Field for passing a lead my way. I've also passed some leads myself this week as a contact of mine was looking for French and Arabic voices and I was able to suggest some voiceover artists from my own network. On Tuesday I attended a virtual unveiling of the new voiceover network website. I've been a member of the voiceover network for a few years and they had definitely outgrown their old site. The new site is much improved in terms of functionality and searchability and the new members profile section is great. If you're a member of the voiceover network and you haven't set your profile up yet, get on and do it because you never know who may be looking. Yesterday I attended a meeting of the founders of the Rural Business Group. This has come about through the Rural Business Awards, the ones that I didn't win two weeks ago and is going to be a great group for networking with other business owners who live and work in rural areas. This week I've been to Felicity Francis's talk networking event which was attended by nearly 60 people. Everyone gave their business pitch and the idea of the meeting is to generate one-to-ones. I came away with half a dozen names to follow up and judging by the flurry of activity in the chat box, so did everyone else. I recorded a future podcast episode yesterday with Phil Parker from Lycosa Web Services. Phil and I are part of the same BNI chapter and Phil is very enthusiastic about networking for his business. A Lycosa, by the way, is a type of wolf spider that doesn't actually make a web, which shows Phil's warped sense of humour. Last night I attended the online annual blue tie event with the Small Business Saturday team to celebrate this year's Small Business 100. The event usually takes place at the Phoenix Arts Club in Soho and hopefully we'll get back there next year. The blue tie is also where the Francesca Kemp Award is presented to someone who's given the most to the small business community over the last year. Fran was one of the early Small Business 100 winners who sadly passed away a few years ago. This year's winner was my fellow 2017 Small Business 100 person, Louise Brogan. Louise lives in Northern Ireland, but two of the Small Business Saturday team had gone over to Belfast to deliver the award to Louise in person while we were all watching online. They always go above and beyond. They also arranged for every attendee to receive a cocktail bar in a box from Blind Badger Cocktails. And the screen was covered with people drinking blue concoctions. That's all from me this week. Join me again next Friday for another Roundup.